Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another look using the Carnival Pro palette by Stacey Marie. There's just so much in it and I really want to start pushing myself out of my comfort zone and maybe going for the shades or combination of colours which I wouldn't usually go for. Um, so it's like a great learning experience. <laughs> It's a great learning experience for me and hopefully us all because I watch people like Mama Mama Mitchell and P. Louise and Stacey Marie do all of these like crazy awesome colour combinations on the eyes and they're things that I wouldn't even think of so hopefully this will go well and if it's a disaster at least we tried. <laughs> okay so I have already primed my eyelids but I'm just going to press um, and smooth everything out again. Uh, because I don't set my base so that the colour can stick straight onto the base and it can be as vibrant as possible. So the first colour I'm going in with is called Reckless and I'm using my Morphe M562 brush which is this tiny 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 brush um, and I'm going to go straight into the crease with this. I'm not creating like a winged look which I did for my last one. I'm doing more of like a rounded look um, and this brush is really really good for just like keeping your shades really compact. So I'm basically creating like a semicircle, like a really rough semicircle shade with this um, and I want to map out where I want my crease. Um, at the moment I'm just pressing it in my eye socket area to use that as a guide and then if I feel like I want to bring it any lower, I can bring it lower. If I want to bring it any higher, then I can do that as well. So on the inner corner you always have to be a little bit careful to make sure that you're not going to disperse the colour too much. I'm doing like a pressing and wiggling motion to almost blend as I apply. So you can kind of see that's what I've done on the inner corner. So I've created my rough shape here, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look straight in the mirror or straight in the camera and think, can I see that shade? Yes, I can, but I do want to bring the um, colour a little bit more deeper just in this area here. So I'm just going to keep building and blending until I'm happy. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to clean it off at the back of my hand. And then, barely touching the skin, I'm going to start blending out the edges of it. It doesn't have to be really, really blended at the moment because that's what the other colours are going to do for us. But we just want to make sure that there are no like crazy harsh lines and it's just softened. So that the next stage is made a lot more easier for us. It's very pretty. Also one mistake that I keep making is I am so used to winging my eyeshadow out here so I always have to make sure that in this, um, when I'm applying makeup in this sort of outer corner I tilt my face so that I can see that I'm rounding it and not accidentally bringing it out too far. Just like that. So at this point, depending on what shape you want to make your eyeshadow, you can kind of go under your eye how you want to go. So for me, today, I've kind of brought it up against my lash line, but I'm going to take it a little bit under. So I'm just going to take a little bit more product and just blend that slightly, slightly below so that the outer edge can still have that rounded shape. like that if I didn't do that it would start to wing out and it wouldn't be as like smooth and you won't have that perfected shape once you did your under eye eyeshadow and you place your concealer underneath so I'm just here just like little tiny wiggles of the brush there you go okay so next I'm going to take my Zoeva 224 brush and I'm going to pick up the shade lit 
these two brushes by the way, the Zoeva 224 and the Morphe M562, they work, I don't know if you can see that, they work so well together um, and like these are my I can't live without brushes when I'm doing a really vibrant eye look. Okay so I'm just going to start on like this outer edge here but I'm going to tilt my brush so that I'm not laying it flat down. I'm using the edge of it to start applying this colour and slowly blending it out. I'm just going to use this to blend out that aubergine shade. It's just really key to keep your brushes really controlled. And you'll notice that when I'm sort of coming around this shape, I'm not going from above, I'm not going directly, I am going from underneath, so that way my eyeshadow is not going to go any higher than I want it. I want to keep it compact in here, and it's just not risky. And then because this is a rounded eye look, I'm going to bring this all the way around here, like that. And then when I apply my shades at the bottom, I'm going to use that to blend out the edge as well. So once I'm happy with the pigment, I'm going to take that brush again. I'm just going to dust off whatever's left at the back of my hand. So you've gone back to a clean brush. And I'm just going to barely touch skin and just start blending out just the edge. Trying to keep the pigment in the centre. Just like that. So now last shade for the crease. I'm going to be taking the same brush which I used to apply lit. I'm going to go in with the shade Keen. I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on the corner of my brush so it's not on the other side, it's only on one side of my brush. And I still want that gap between my brows and the eyeshadow so I'm going to be really controlled as to where to place this. So I'm just going to use that to blend everything out and then I'm going to round round this off here. Now to cut the crease I will be using my P. Louise base in shade number two, ooh, in shade number two, Rumour. And for the brush I'm going in with this um, Plush Beauty 103. This is very 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 similar, almost the exact same to the MAC concealer brush um, which I used to use to prime my eyelids um, and it's literally I mean, it's the cheapest thing I've bought. I think, I can't even remember how much it costed, but it was very, very inexpensive. So definitely worth checking out there. Brush quality is to die. So I'm just going to squeeze a bit at the back of my hand. So I'm going to coat my brush both sides to make sure it's sharp. Just like, just keeping it sharp, just like that. I'm going to tap it. Bear in mind this is a lot easier to do and a lot quicker to do when you don't have a camera in front of you. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit of like a halo on the lid. Um, and I'm taking my Morphe M213 brush with the shade Wasted. And because my base that I used to cut the crease is still tacky, this will stick straight onto it. This brush is really good to like not ruin the actual cut crease and keep it exactly where I need it. And then I'm going to take the same shade on the outer corner as well. And I'm going to take the same brush and take any colour off at the back of my hand. And I'm going in with the shade Make Waves. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. And I'm going to use that to blend the purple in. 
so I press it on top Okay, so I forgot to press record, but just for the center, I'm going to apply glitter, but I've taken the shade Fair Play on this um, Plush Beauty 217 brush, and applied it, and just blending it into the um, blue shade on either side. Then I'm taking the shade Mardi Gras, and this is from ZS Official, and I'm just going to apply this on top of that highlighter in the center. Okay, so for the under eye, I'm going to do exactly what I did on top, but just mirror it on the bottom. So I am back. I've finished doing my face. I applied a little bit of Moon Child. I think it's called Pink Heart in the, on the inner corner and on the cheekbones. Um, blah, 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 what else did I do? Curled my lashes, put on mascara, and in the waterline, I used one of the NYX Professional Makeup off Tropic liners how, how, how are we feeling okay so um the only thing now i have left is lashes four lashes i'm going in with my regular um what are these house of lashes i should know it's so bad i don't know and i will regularly wear these these are the house of lashes smoky muse and i love these because they're wispy and they're full but they are not too long so i'm just gonna lift my brow bone and apply center to center and then stick down the outer corner and stick down the inner corner a lot of people find applying lashes really hard but I feel like out of everything in makeup lashes are the easiest I think we're just scared of lashes but there's nothing to be scared of I promise you're not gonna glue your eyes shut nothing terrible is gonna happen Okay, so that is a completed look. It is very different for me, um, but really pushed me out of my comfort zone. So I think it turned out okay. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Find me on Instagram at MakeupByAJ. Also, I'm noticing a lot of people are saying that they don't see my posts. Um, so you can turn on post notifications on Instagram or click on the bell on my YouTube. And every time I upload a video, video you will be able to see it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!